to Mike a little later on this morning as well. Um, the course is, of course, home to one of the biggest uh, riding therapy centres in the UK, hosting more than 200 riders every week with disabilities or learning difficulties. Yeah, and Mike's been to have a look. On this famous course where legends have been made, another young jockey is getting a winning feeling at Cheltenham. But this isn't a race, it's about using the power of the horse to help Jamie in this case with his learning difficulties. So Jamie, I ask all the famous jockeys where they pass the winning post in Cheltenham, what's it like, what does it feel like? Um, amazing, helps um, com your confidence to ride ponies and horses and do other things. Cheltenham is home to one of the biggest centres for the Riding for the Disabled Association. Three quarters of the people that come here have some sort of learning difficulty. But it's not just about riding the horses, there's mutual affection and important grooming to be done. Before then, climbing on board and riding away, whether on a real horse or even on the new simulator here. Ride Zeppelin with seizures. I don't get many when I'm around horses. It's just, I think animals have something that humans can't give. Like a special, like, kind of calming feeling. Ages range from four to 76. For little Amelia Rose, it's a chance of freedom. We're all about to indulge ourselves in world-class sport. Obviously our ponies aren't the thoroughbreds, but it's a different way to put something back using horses. It is magic what happens. You see people who have mobility issues. Actually the pony lends them their legs. They've been using horses to transform lives for 33 years now. And every week over 200 riders of all abilities saddle up here with the help of 160 volunteers. The association is helped by the Jockey Club, which charges them just one pound a year to be here. But with so many horses to keep, it still requires a lot of fundraising and volunteering. Well, the national governing body of the RDA recently did a four-year study into the impact that horses can have on the riders here. Over two-thirds showed a greater ability to communicate with others. More than that had greater confidence. 76% showed physical improvement. Again, more than that had an improved ability to form relationships. And perhaps most importantly of all, 76% felt it gave them greater enjoyment in life. Being able to build a relationship with a horse actually then extends out, not just at home, but at school, at work, and out into the wider community. Even those celebrating picking a winner of the Gold Cup today will find it hard to match the smiles on the other side of the course. It's a, it is absolutely wonderful seeing that, isn't it? The yeah. impact of the contact with the animal and that, that kind of work can have. Yeah, it, it really kind of... I remember meeting a lady who runs a charity, which is to help autistic children. They run a farm uh, up in the Leeds area, uh, and it autism angels. And it, it's amazing how much difference it can make to mm -hmm. the children's lives, and then the parents as well, same for them. It's lovely to see them interact with the animals. We will be back with uh, Mike a little later on. He's at uh, Chapman for us this morning, looking ahead to all the racing there as well. Yes, also this morning, we're